In this quiz, we're going to visit towns and cities that don't exist in the real world, but have been made forever magical, iconic, legendary in books, movies, TV shows, video games, and songs. Here we go with our first quiz of the day, Fake Places. The town of Bedrock is the setting for the classic TV cartoon, The Flintstones, and it's also the term for a type of rock in the surface of the Earth's crust. Question one, science and technology for 10 points. Which branch of science deals with bedrock? Meteorology, astronomy, geology. And the answer is geology. Bedrock, as studied in the earth science of geology, is the hard rock substructure that's typically buried beneath soil or other material, although it's sometimes exposed. It can be made up of igneous, sedimentary, or metamorphic rock. The Flintstones originally ran on ABC from 1960 to 1966. It was the first animated series shown on primetime TV. Camelot is a castle and court described in many versions of the age-old tale of King Arthur, and it was popularized in a modern context to describe one seemingly idyllic American presidency. Question two, history and society for 10 points. Whose presidency was referred to as Camelot? Harry S. Truman, Richard Nixon, John F. Kennedy. And the answer is John F. Kennedy. The Kennedy presidency being known as Camelot came from an interview that Kennedy's widow Jacqueline gave to Life magazine in 1963. In the interview, she quoted a line from the musical Camelot, which was based on the King Arthur legend. She said, quote, there'll be great presidents again, but there'll never be another Camelot again. It will never be that way again. Our next question is open-ended. The name of the band was Lip Sync, and they turned a song about an exciting fictional place where you can keep moving and grooving with some energy into a disco hit in 1980. Question three, music for 20 points. Finish the lyric to Lip Sync's 1980 hit, Won't You Take Me To... And the answer is Funky Town. Funky Town came out on Lip Sync's debut album, Mouth to Mouth, and it hit number one on the charts in 1980. The song was written when the band was living in Minneapolis and having aspirations of making it big in New York, which was presumably the Funky Town in question, although it is not mentioned in the tune. I grew up in New York, so I assume that makes me very funky. Question four, TV and film for 20 points. What's the name of the underwater city where the action goes down in the TV show SpongeBob SquarePants? Crabtown, Bikini Bottom, Spongeland. And the answer is Bikini Bottom. Yes, SpongeBob SquarePants lives in a pineapple under the sea, but the address of that particular pineapple is in Bikini Bottom. The show, which runs on Nickelodeon, was created by the late animator Steven Hillenburg and officially premiered in 1999, which means that it has been going for over 20 years. In the 2009 Disney Pixar movie Up, an old man yearns to see the beautiful and fictional Paradise Falls. So, he ties thousands of balloons to his house to fly there. The falls were inspired by real-life Angel Falls, the world's highest uninterrupted waterfall. Question 5. The world for 30 points. In which continent are Angel Falls located? South America. Africa. Asia. And the answer is South America. Angel Falls, which are located more than 3,000 feet high and plunge more than 2,600 feet, are located in the Canaima National Park in Venezuela. 
The filmmakers of Up traveled to Angel Falls for research for the film, which was quite an undertaking considering it is apparently very hard to get there. They had to fly into a remote area and climb up to the falls. Question six, sports and leisure for 30 points. Which video game series takes place in the underwater city of Rapture and the airborne floating city of Columbia? Call of Duty, Fortnite, Bioshock. And the answer is Bioshock. The Bioshock series features three main games. The original one, Bioshock, came out in 2007 and is set in 1960 in the city of Rapture. Bioshock 2 takes place in Rapture eight years later, and Bioshock Infinite, which came out in 2013, takes place in 1912 in the floating city of Columbia. Bioshock is one of the best-selling video game series in history, with 34 million copies sold as of December 2019. Shangri-La is now a popular term for any kind of perfect imaginary place, but it originated as a valley in the 1933 novel Lost Horizon. Question 7, literature for 50 points. Which author created Shangri-La in the 1933 novel Lost Horizon? Graham Greene, James Hilton, John Dos Passos. And the answer is James Hilton. In Hilton's book, Shangri-La is a Buddhist lamasery, or monastery for lamas, as in Dalai Lamas, not actual lamas. It is located in the mountains of Tibet. The book, which was the first paperback in the famous pocketbook series, was made into a 1937 movie by legendary director Frank Capra and starred Ronald Coleman. Tragically, they decided to take the movie Lost Horizon and turn it into a musical in the 1970s. Drive timers, how'd you do on that fake places quiz? Did you reach Shangri-La? Or did you hit rock bikini bottom? You've just traveled the world of fiction and visited made up places. Now we're headed back to reality, although it might not seem like it. We've got seven locations that very much exist and are easily found on maps, but their strange names make them seem fictional. Let's see if you've been to any of these oddly titled real places. The name of the community in Arkansas, called Toad Suck, harkens back to the days of travel by steamboat. Question one, science and technology for 10 points. What type of creature is a toad? Crustacean, amphibian, ungulate. And the answer is amphibian. Toads are basically the same creatures as frogs with some differences, such as skin texture and habitats. They're amphibians that start out living in water, which differentiates them from reptiles. Some think Toad Suck, Arkansas got its name because it's located along the Arkansas River, and it had a bar that people from the boats would frequent and, quote, suck on the bottle until they swelled up like toads. And you know, drive timers, we couldn't pass up an option to use the word ungulate, if even only as the wrong answer for a question. Our next question is open-ended. Quibbletown, New Jersey got its contentious name from a dispute on whether the traditional day of rest and worship as mentioned in the Bible's book of Exodus was observed on Saturday or Sunday. Question two, history and society for 10 points. What's the name for the Bible's traditional day of rest and worship? And the answer is Sabbath. The Sabbath is observed in Judaism and various forms of Christianity, and there are Sabbath-like days in other religions. It is mentioned in the biblical commandment which states, Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Quibbletown, New Jersey is now known as New Market. It was the site of a Revolutionary War conflict in 1777 in which America militia members outsmarted British General Cornwallis and attacked the sides and rear of a 2,000 troop force, leading to a retreat. The community of Hell, Michigan, 
gets a lot of laughs and some tourists because of its fiery name. But it's not the hell that is described in many different ways throughout the course of literature. Question three, literature for 20 points. Which of the following literary works takes place in a version of hell? East of Eden, The Sun Also Rises, Dante's Inferno. The answer is Dante's Inferno. Inferno is the first part of the 14th century epic poem Divine Comedy by Dante Alighieri. Hell, Michigan is a lot better than the hell described by Dante, and it's got a good sense of humor. The town website encourages people to go to hell and get married in hell. There's a bar called the Hell Saloon, and you can get a diploma from Damnation University. The town of Y is spelled like the word that asks the question, but it was named because of the shape of the letter Y from an intersection of two roads, one that heads south to Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument and one that goes to Tucson. Question four, the world for 20 points. In which state is the town of Y? New Mexico, Arizona, Texas. And the answer is Arizona. Why Arizona is well known to college students who are road tripping to the Baja resort town of Rocky Point, Mexico. It's about 30 miles north of the Mexican border. It sits at the Y-shaped intersection of state routes 85 and 86. And to answer why it was named W-H-Y instead of the letter Y, it's because at the time there was an Arizona law that required city names to have at least three letters. The town of Ding Dong, Texas got its name when two brothers with the last name Bell opened a store and had a sign painted that depicted two bells, one with Ding underneath and one with Dong. The song Ramalama Ding Dong also incorporated the phrase and became a hit in 1961 for a doo-wop group named after a failed Ford automobile. Question five, music for 30 points. Which doo-wop group named after a failed Ford automobile made the song Ramalama Ding Dong a hit in 1961? The Tuckers, The Platters, The Edsels. And the answer is the Edsels. The Edsel was the Ford model named after Henry Ford's brother that was one of the biggest bombs in automobile history and has become a synonym for any failed commercial endeavor. The band The Edsels was slightly more successful, although they had changed their name from The Essos, which was the name of an oil company because the car had just come out. Our next question is open-ended. In 1950, a town in New Mexico changed its name from Hot Springs to the three-word title of a radio quiz show for free publicity. Question six, TV and film for 30 points. The town in New Mexico named after a radio quiz show is Truth or What? And the answer is Consequences. If you like, you can call it TRC, but Truth or Consequences New Mexico is really a real place. I have been there. It got its name when the host of the radio show, Ralph Edwards, said he would broadcast the 10th anniversary show from the first town to give itself the same name. Edwards then returned to the town every May for the next 50 years, and that event grew into a celebration called Fiesta that still goes on today. Part of the festivities include a dance in Ralph Edwards Park. What would you change your name to for free publicity? The town of Zizix, California, which is spelled Z-Z-Y-Z-X, got its name because the man who named it wanted it to be the last word alphabetically in the English language. It would also be a heck of a play in Scrabble if it were possible. Question seven, sports and leisure for 50 points. Adding up each letter's value in Scrabble, how many points is Z, Z, Y, Z, X worth? 28, 36, 42. And the answer is 42. 
There's only one Z in a standard Scrabble game, and it's worth 10 points. There are two Ys, which are worth four points each, and one X, which is worth eight points. So three tens, an eight, and a four equals 42. The eccentric behind Zizix was Curtis Howe Springer, who came up with the name in 1944 and opened the Zizix Mineral Springs and Health Spa on the site. The land was reclaimed by the government in 1974 and is now the site of the Desert Studies Center for California State University. And the town of Zizix, California, has one permanent resident. Drive timers, how'd you do on that real places quiz? Did you find the truth? Or did you suffer the consequences? Are you hungry for more trivia, drive timers? We hope so. We've got a seven course meal of questions that are all about foods that are specifically named after places. This last quiz of the day should satisfy your craving for more geography while filling you up with questions about food. Our first question is open-ended. This is a dessert made up of ice cream and cake with browned meringue on top, and it's named after the 49th state. Question one for 10 points. The dessert named after a state that's made up of ice cream and cake and topped with browned meringue is baked what? And the answer is Alaska. Baked Alaska, the fanciest of desserts. Legend has it that the chef of the famous Antoine's restaurant in New Orleans named the dish Baked Alaska in 1867 in honor of Alaska being purchased by the United States from the Russian Empire, but that story has not been confirmed. A different chef from the New York restaurant Delmonico's, apparently referencing its cold and hot elements, called the dish Alaska, Florida in 1894. Question two for 10 points. Which olive is named after a city in southern Greece? Mission, Nisoise, Kalamata. And the answer is Kalamata. Kalamata, Greece is on the Mediterranean coast on the south end of the Peloponnese Peninsula. The olives, which are classified as black olives, but are usually purple, are now grown all over the world, including in the United States. They have to be hand-picked to avoid being bruised. Black forest ham is named for a region of a European country where the ham was first manufactured and sold in 1959. Question three for 20 points. In which European country is the region that black forest ham is named after? Portugal. Germany, Finland. And the answer is Germany. The Black Forest region is located in southwest Germany. It is a mountainous region known for its mining and tourism because it is beautiful, and several food items originated there, including Black Forest ham and Black Forest cake. The ham is boneless, smoked, and dry cured and the process of curing it, aging it, and cold smoking it, often with sawdust and tree brush, can take up to three months. To make chicken Kiev, you pound and roll a chicken filet around cold butter, dip it in egg, cover it with breadcrumbs, and then fry or bake it. It name drops the capital city of a post-Soviet country. Question four for 20 points. Kiev is the capital of which country? Lithuania, Georgia, Ukraine. The answer is Ukraine. Kiev is one of the biggest cities in Eastern Europe and is believed to have been an important urban center in the area since the fifth century. The chicken dish named for it isn't that old, but it is believed to have originated during the reign of the Russian Empire, possibly created by a French chef visiting St. Petersburg. This explains its popularity in several of the post-Soviet states. The Chinese dish Peking duck comes from a city that's also known by another name. Question five for 30 points. What's the name of the Chinese city also known as Peking? Beijing, Shanghai, Chengdu.
And the answer is Beijing. Peking duck is traditionally mostly crisp duck skin with little meat sliced to order in front of restaurant guests. The duck is often served with vegetables and sauce and pancakes to fill with the ingredients. The dish has been served since the days of Imperial China and can still be eaten in restaurants in Beijing that are centuries old. And in some restaurants, you need to call ahead 24 hours if you want Peking duck. Crab Rangoon became a popular dish in America, but it got its exotic name from the largest city in an Asian country. Question six for 30 points. Rangoon is the largest city in which Asian country? Thailand, Myanmar, Cambodia. The answer is Myanmar. Rangoon is also called Yangon, and Myanmar is also known as Burma. Crab Rangoon, which is a dish of fried dumplings filled with crab or imitation crab meat, cream cheese, onions or scallions, and seasoning, may have originated in Burma, but it is first believed to have been served at the restaurant Trader Vic's in San Francisco in the 1950s. That location is still there and home of the original Mai Tai. Jarlsberg cheese is made from cow's milk and has large holes and a signature yellow wax rind. It's named after a region in the Scandinavian country of its birth. Question seven for 50 points. Which Scandinavian country is the home of the region of Jarlsberg and its cheese? Sweden, Norway, Denmark. And the answer is Norway. Jarlsberg cheese has been around since the 1850s when a farmer produced cheese in Jarlsberg County, which is about 50 miles south of the Norwegian capital of Oslo. The cheese was off the radar for a while until it was redeveloped in its current form in 1956 and named after our Norwegian nobleman. Dry timers, how'd you do on that taste of a place quiz? Were you the big cheese? Or were you the chicken? <laughs> 